Yo guys, what is up? Dave here, back to you with a brand new video on a project that might look familiar to some of you. Have you ever heard of the project Garage Tycoon? Well, I kind of hope so because I've made a video about it before and it's a community that I'm hoping to be a little bit more active in now that I work from home and can kind of pay attention. Garage Tycoon is a car town remake by somebody I do definitely consider a friend now from, you know, talking online and all that all the time. Uh, my friend named Waz uh, is his Discord name. Now that I think about it, I don't know his real name, but I don't know if he'd want me to say it anyway. So <laughs> I guess <laughs> I feel weird saying I don't know his name. Um, anyway, so he started this project. God, what was it? I think two and a half, maybe three years ago. I hope he corrects me in the comments. Um, it would be cool actually to do a sit down video with him and like get the history of Garage Tycoon thus far. But basically, this project is to attempt to recreate Car Town while also adding some quality of life changes, adding some overall just like, you know, this was kind of broken in original Car Town. Let's make it better. And, you know, also just have the ability to add on to what Car Town initially was. So, right now, the game doesn't save. The game is in alpha stages, but they are at least talking about beta. Uh, he did show me a roadmap recently, which made me think I should make another video for him uh, for the project because this is just an awesome project. And there's a bunch of you Car Town nerds out there that really, really want to see Car Town come back. Like when I say you all really want to see this game come back, I have found Discord groups, or not Discord groups, Facebook groups with 10,000 plus members and those groups are active as hell just posting screenshots and talking about the game and hoping it comes back and then people referencing Garage Tycoon and stuff. So without further ado, let's click around. You know, we could I guess consider this like a Garage Tycoon deep dive. You know, I do the Auto Legends deep dives. Let's do a Garage Tycoon deep dive as best as I can. Uh, this is web-based, so don't expect me to free cam around and do stuff like I can on a uh, <laughs> on a uh, custom build. But anyway, here we are in Garage Tycoon. If I click the little I, oh, I don't know. I haven't literally done anything. I haven't looked at this since a very early alpha stage, so this is all pretty new to me. But we're going to throw these cars in for a little bit of work. Looks like they all take about 25 seconds. That ain't bad. You know, there's all this cool stuff around your garage. You get rep and cash and stuff. Cool. Let's go to... What's the map? The map has some basic places you can go. That's my garage. A racetrack. That's sick. Uh, I'm guessing that's like a car dealership. Let's check this out. Oh, yeah, for uh, buying cars. This is cool. I love how it spins and that this is actually a full 3D, unlike original Car Town. Original Car Town was 3D. We have the 3D models of the OG cars because of the Car Town remake project that we are trying to run through. But as of right now, at least, you know, this is about, this is the better option, in all honesty, for Car Town in its future, is somebody making a new game like this. But, like, there's that, and then furniture, the button does not work yet, but that's okay. Colors? Oh, colors work. That's sick. Man, it's it's so weird clicking around this and like seeing stuff through here. Oh my god. What cars are there? This is what a Ford It's not a Ford Focus. Uh, I don't know. Ford Mustang, old school. That's a Ford Focus. Dodge Viper, Porsche, Alfa Romeo, sick. Another Alfa. Audi R8. We got the Evo. The R33, R32, somebody correct me, R35, 350Z, BRZ, or GR86. I don't know how to tell the difference looking at them just straight on. The <laughs> Yaris? <laughs> All right, who's going to be the Mighty Car Mods call out for this? Yaris Hilton? Y'all know what I'm talking about? Uh, <laughs> BMW, that looks sick. I love that there's inspiration taken from Car Town. But it's not a direct rip. Like the yes, the squishy cars are still here, and that's what made Car Town for me. Car Town is this interesting art aspect ratio of cars. 
this better shows off your wheels. This better shows off like body kits, but it's also kind of a child game feel. And I love that. I love that it kind of feels like a game that I played as a child because it is. I Well, okay, I'm old. I'm th- almost 34. I guess I played this as an adult, didn't I? I don't know if that's sad or not. Let's click the home button and go back before I get more depressed. Let's see what the garage... Oh, this is my garage. Okay, cool. So we got 2.8... No, we got 2,800. Oh my god, I can't read. Throw another car in here. Cool. Let's... What's the... What's my garage? Oh. Edit garage. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't... You can't do anything yet, but it's here. That's cool. Go back to the map. I want to see what the racetrack is. Can I do anything here? I hope so. Let's see, start race, uh, player, choose your car, performance, high to low. Okay, uh, maybe I have to buy a car first. Oh, cars are expensive though. I only have 2,800. Can I buy it anyway? Darn. <laughs> That's okay. Racing is something I'm really excited about. I love how, I really like how basic racing was on Car Town originally. It was simply just push the button at the perfect time, and that's, and it was a score. It wasn't your race time and all that. But, you know, it would be cool to, like, have a combination of both, in all honesty. Woo! What was that shadow? <laughs> anyway, let's go back to this garage. Well, it looks like, at least right now, you know, you can... Click for sound. There's menus. There's stuff you can do. But it pauses. Okay. I can see my car. Well, I guess it's a placeholder. Takes it out of here. I can click this. I should ask him if he wants me to try to exploit anything. I don't think it's really worth it right now. You know, I'm definitely going to do it. We've had a chat. You know, I'm going to try to mod the crap out of it when he does release the game. Just to let him know, you know, this is something I can do, this is something I can't do, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, I didn't even think to click that. Obviously, yeah, there's some icons missing right now. I love that it's full 3D. Oh, this is so cool. It'd be, I wonder if he can do it. I mean, I'm sure they can. It's a custom game. But like, you know, the soda machine is here. Just the little, the nice little touch of like, let's say I click the soda machine, it makes the vending machine noise. I click the arcade cabinet, it makes like an 8-bit arcade game sound. I click the pool table, it makes billiard ball noises. Um, you know, click this Evo, it makes an exhaust sound. Click this BMW, it makes a different exhaust sound. Maybe click this computer and it does something, you know. That would be all really cool tiny touches that, sure, they aren't needed now. But, like, way off in the future, those could be really cool tiny things to do. Just turn everything into a button and you can make it kind of, make it your own. You know, you have those sound effects and all that. But, that's Garage Tycoon as it sits right now. Garage Tycoon is awesome. You know, it's awesome to see what he's accomplished over this amount of time. I wish I had the time to put something in like this. But, you know, I'm glad to also just support somebody else who has a dream and a vision to make this a reality. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little look into Garage Tycoon. And I will definitely talk to you guys later. Peace out.